Hi everyone, it's Miss Jan at the Woodlands Children's Museum. And I'm bringing you a special storybook theater today, uh, something just perfect for the season. This book is called A World of Cookies for Santa, Follows Santa's Tasty Trip Around the World. And it's written by M.E. Furman, illustrated by Susan Gow. And the publisher is Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. And we are going to travel around the world on Christmas Eve and see what children around the world leave Santa for a treat as he's working really hard that night. And before I start reading, I want to show you some of the children that we're going to meet along the way. We're going to be going to Japan. Very good. And let's see where else we're going to go. We're going to be visiting India. Hello, little one. Nice to see you, and I love all the different clothing that they're wearing. Oops, I should go to this one. This is going to be in Africa. And we're going to be in Malawi and also South Africa. And I have just two more. This is going to be Central America and South America. We're going to stop at a few countries there. And last but not least, going back up north, close to the North Pole, we'll be in Canada and Alaska. This looks like a little Eskimo boy. So be watching for these children, and there'll be other countries as well, as I read A World of Cookies for Santa. Another food story that's going to make Miss Jan very, very hungry. All around the world, Christmas is a time of giving. While Santa Claus, also called Papa Noel, Father Christmas, Grandfather Frost, and more, he packs his sleigh with gifts for children everywhere. They are preparing their own sweet gifts for him. Follow along on Santa's, Santa's tasty trip around the globe, country by country and cookie by cookie. So first stop is going to be Christmas Island. Kintamati, also known as Christmas Island, is the first place in the world to welcome Christmas Day and Santa. Children on this little island in the Southern Pacific share their abundant coconut crop and leave him sweet, chewy coconut macaroons. Those sound tasty to me. Next stop, New Zealand. In New Zealand, children remember the reindeer too. That's very important. They leave hay or carrots for them, as well as crunchy Anzac biscuits and milk. For Santa. And I'm going to show you this picture first before I read the next page. And that's New Zealand. And then Australia. Santa Claus uses his magic key to open the front door when he visits children in Australia. He leaves small gifts in a sack or stocking by their bedrooms and their bigger gifts under the tree. Their gift to him is crispy, fruit-filled, white Christmas treats. And because it's summer there, a cool glass of milk or beer. Boys and girls who are too excited to sleep might hear the sound of bell Santa rings as he leaves their home. And here's those white Christmas treats. They look really yummy. Now we're in Japan, and we saw our little friend from Japan at the beginning of this story. In Japan, Hoteyosha brings gifts and fortunes to children. They believe he has eyes in the back of his head, so he can watch for children who are misbehaving, kind of like mom sometimes. After he leaves their gifts on their pillow, Hoteyosha enjoys a slice of stro strawberry topped Christmas cake the children put out for him. And again, I want you to see this picture before I go to the next page. 
That looks delicious. Indonesia. Most homes in Indonesia don't have chimneys, so children put their shoes near the door or in front of a pretend fireplace they make for Sinterklaas to fill with gifts. <clears throat> in return, children treat him to a taste of the tropics with Nastar cookies filled with pineapple jam. Philippines. Before they go to bed, Filipino children double check to make sure their parents leave the front door unlatched for Santa Claus to come in. After filling the stockings, Santa finds the children's gift of puto seco, a crisp, melt-in-your-mouth cookie and a spicy ginger tea called salabat. Sri Lanka. On Christmas Eve in Sri Lanka, children come home from midnight mass and hang their stockings on the tree. After Natalia, Christmas grandfather, puts their gifts in the stockings, he munches on kokis, a lacy fried cookie, while he sips the Ceylon tea the island country is famous for. And right after that, he goes to India. Children in India hang their stockings by a window if they don't have a fireplace. They leave Christmas Baba, Father Christmas, a crispy fried treat called kulkuls and a cup of spicy chai. South Africa. Karis Vader, Father Christmas arrives in South Africa by donkey. He fills children's stockings with special chocolates and small gifts. They leave him Herzog cookies filled with apricot jam and topped with crunchy coconut meringue. And then we go to Malawi. In Malawi, Father Christmas brings gifts to children at Christmas parties at their school. They thank him with Batata, sweet potato cookies. Bethlehem, see the camel here? As the site of the first Christmas, many people from around the world visit Bethlehem for this special holiday. Santa brings gifts to children in homes with a cross painted over the door. Children give him mamul, a cookie stuffed with dates or honey and nuts. Children in Egypt go to bed early in hopes that Baba Noel will climb through the window, enjoy the kak, a sweet biscuit they put out for him and leave them Yes, and then on the Bethlehem page, they were talking about the crosses, and that's where they know to go and deliver the goodies. Russia. In Russia, Dead Moroz, Grandfather Frost, brings Snegorochka, snow maiden to deliver gifts. She rides in a sleigh pulled by three horses. Children give them a gift of prioniki, a sweet honey spice cookie, and a cup of tea to warm them for the rest of their journey. And let me read Ukraine, which is in the same area, and then I'll point out that snow maiden to you. In Ukraine, Zviati Mikole, St. Nicholas, slips in quietly to put gifts under the pillow of children in Ukraine. They leave a traditional St. Nick cookie, Mikolechiki, for him. And this is the picture of Russia with the, uh, the snow maiden sitting there. Let's see if you can see that.
how to practice some of these names for you. I'm still working on it. Denmark. In Denmark, Julemand, which means Christmas man, puts presents under the tree while the family eats Christmas dinner. When everyone is finished eating, the children see the decorated tree for the first time. They thank Yulamand in person for their gifts by sharing the Risa Lamand, which is rice pudding, with him. And then from Denmark, go to Norway. Nearby in Norway, Yulanisen, which means Christmas elf, comes into the house on Christmas Eve and asks, are there any good children here? Sometimes the children must sing for him before they receive their gifts. Yula Nissen is thanked with some riskram, a sweet rice pudding served with a cherry sauce. So both Denmark and Norway like the rice pudding as a treat for Santa. It's called Yulamand or Yula Nissen. Now we're in Poland. The star man visits families in Poland after their Christmas dinner. He asks the children questions and rewards their answers with small gifts. In return, they share fruit-filled kolapsi with him and his companions, the star boys, who sing for the family. And that word kolapsi probably is familiar to you. You may know kolachi, which in Texas, we find the, um, the dough wrapped around sausage, but in Poland, they make then the pastry is filled with fruit fillings like apricot and raspberry and has some powdered sugar on it. Now, in Germany, German children have been counting down the days until Christmas on their Advent calendars. They open the last door in the Advent calendar before they go to bed, excited to see what they will find under the tree from Weihnachtsmann, who is Christmas man. Making many kinds of Christmas cookies is an important part of Christmas celebrations in Germany. Children leave Weihnachtsmann a plate filled with pepper kakar, springerly, and gingerbread people. Yum, yum, yum. I kind of like the gingerbread workshop we have here at the museum making gingerbread houses. Okay, now we're in France. In France, children leave carrots, oats, or apples in the shoes they place by the fireplace or the Christmas tree. Père Noël takes the children's gifts to Cui, the donkey, who carries his heavy sack. Then, he fills the shoes with small gifts and treats. Sometimes they borrow shoes from their parents because they hold more. For himself, Père Noël can choose from any of the 13 desserts families eat during their Christmas Eve celebration. He really likes to have a slice of the Yule log with the glass of wine they leave for him. And the Yule log is a, a thin cake that's rolled up with creamy filling and it looks like a log from a tree. In Spain, Spanish children fall into bed late, tired from their festive Noche Buena celebration, means Christmas Eve. That brings many family and friends together for a big meal and singing and dancing. They put their shoes on their windowsill or balcony filled with treats of barley and wheat for the wise men's horses. One of the wise men leaves the children gifts. Turon, a nugget candy of almonds, honey, and sugar, is the most popular Christmas treat to leave as a gift. Great Britain. Father Christmas fills the stockings of children in Great Britain. They leave him a gift of fruit-filled mince pie along with a glass of sherry. In Ireland, Santa must be very quiet as he slips in to fill the stockings hung at the foot of the bed in Irish homes. Like in Great Britain, he'll find a mince pie and glass of milk and sometimes Guinness on the table, along with a candle that will burn all night. Boy, oh boy, 
Santa works really hard. He's been all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna, these, now we're getting to South America and Central America, so I'm gonna just do a couple of those for you. In Brazil, Papa Noel comes in the front door and finds the children's shoes beside the Christmas tree, or presepio, which is the manger scene, or next to their beds, waiting to be filled with gifts. Children leave him a fudge-like sweet called brigadero. In Chile, chimneys are too narrow for viejo pascuero, which means old man Christmas. So he climbs in a window. He leaves presents near the manger scene and finds a plate with a gift of pan de pasequa, a Christmas bread filled with candied fruit. And then Santa goes to Puerto Rico and Costa Rica. And I think I'll read the Puerto Rico one for you. And this is Costa Rica. Boys and girls in Puerto Rico leave straw and shoe boxes under their beds for the camels of the wise men. They also leave mantecadito, a cherry-studded shortbread cookie for the wise men who bring the children's gifts. And I'll just tell you what the treats are in Costa Rica. It's a crunchy star-shaped suspiros. And they also gave him a glass of rompope, which is eggnog flavored with coconut. And Mexico, kind of close to Texas, huh? Just after midnight, Mexican children get to break open a piñata filled with small toys and treats. After they go to bed, Santa arrives to bring their gifts. He looks forward to the nutty, sugar-coated Mexican wedding cookies they leave for him, along with a cup of sweet, spicy Mexican hot chocolate that warms him up as he heads further north again, where it's cold. You can see the piñata, which I know some of you are familiar with. Whacking it and having all the goodies fall out. Up, oh, we're in the United States, yay! All across America, children have decorated their trees and hung their stockings, waiting for Santa and his reindeer to arrive. From Maine to California and all the states in between, Santa will find a glass of milk and a plate of cookies. Children might choose to give him decorated gingerbread people, iced sugar cookies, or the classic American chocolate chip cookie. They also sometimes leave carrots for Santa's reindeer. Can't forget the reindeer. Okay. And then there's Canada and Alaska. And we saw our little Eskimo friend, so I'm going to read the Alaska one for you. When Santa arrives in Alaska, he's pretty close to his North Pole home. There's a town called North Pole, Alaska, but that's not the same North Pole where Santa lives. Alaskan children give him Eskimo cookies, which are a chewy, fudgy oatmeal cookie that is cooked on top of the stove and not in the oven. So this page is Canada, and then this is Alaska. Santa's almost done with his trip. He's going to stop in Hawaii, one of my favorite places. Hawaiian children won't hear the sound of hoofs on their roofs, but they might see Santa's footprints on the sand, where he hopped off the surfboard, which is pulled by dolphins. Kanakaloka comes through the windows that are left open to allow the cooling trade winds to blow through. Children will find their gifts under the trees they decorate with garlands, shells, and starfish. The present they give him of sweet, chewy pineapple macadamia bars is a refreshing treat. After visiting the last home in Pago Pago, Santa flies back to the wintry North Pole. He's warmed by the thoughts of the joy the boys and girls he visited will feel as they open their gifts 
and by sweet memories of the giving spirit children everywhere showed through the treats they shared with him. So I hope you enjoy this trip around the world and all the different cookie treats. I think it's so wonderful. It does have some recipes for some of those treats. So I just want to wish all of you a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And thank you for joining me today for this fun story. And until next time, keep a smile on your face and a story and a song and a ho, ho, ho in your heart. Bye-bye for now.